So Frank, what are we doing today? So uh, today's Saturday. Um, usually what happens is during the week, we're all busy on the phones and stuff like that. And we try to get away down here to, uh, to work on builds and stuff like that. But anyway, so Tom and I, Saturdays, we sit in here and we just pretty much pick a project and just start nailing it, you know. And today we're working on what we call the stubby uh, patio build. It's actually half of, 120, or half of a 250 gallon propane tank. Usually we have a goal in mind, but this time we're just like, let's get it all done. <laughs> so I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we'll at least have that cook chamber, you know, pretty close to done, I think. <laughs> So you're sitting there saying, why in the heck is he using a hole saw to cut that out? I'm not actually cutting it with the hole saw. What I'm doing is, is I'm using this to mark a perfect circle on my tank. So Tom, what happened? Frank broke it. He broke it. Yes. We keep tripping the freaking brake. That one breaker, I think there's something wrong with it. You can do it. So he says. What's going on over in this corner of the shop? Working on making a draw on a slide damper for the warming firebox to warming cabinet so okay. we slide in and out we don't have to we don't have to wait for him to cut it by hand we can just let the table do it oh that's nice work smarter not harder right right what's this piece you got going this is my plug for the bone so like i did on the tank i used a hole saw to mark my hole now i'm gonna cut this out with the plasma if i can fit it in here We heard a loud noise back there. You all right? I dropped it on my toe. Oh, really? But I'm good. Yeah, that looks pretty light. So now we can tack it and work it and get it right. So tell me a little bit about this guy, uh, the guy whose pit this is. Oh, Mark? Yeah. What was he looking for? So he's our neighbor down here. He was digging through my profile and he went all the way back to like 2012 or something. They saw a picture of a stubby reverse float smoker like this and he's like, dang, I want one. And then uh, one day we were sitting upstairs working, Tom and I, I don't remember what we was doing. He come popping in the door and uh, introduced himself and said, man, I saw a cooker on your page way back there in the day. Anyway, we came down here and started looking around and you know, live action just started developing, you know, kind of what he was looking for and looking at pictures and stuff like that.
going crazy. Where are you at? Oh, you're here. Uh, no, the uh, I got the baffle plate in here. I got her tacked in place. You want to see it? I got a booger weld. Let's see it. I was trying to one-hander. So I want this to be level here, right? Like set a ruler straight edge on it, and you see the straight edge here. So I weld some little pieces of scrap on here, so I can just lay it on there, you know, until I get this tacked where this is flat. And then I want this plate pitched let the same as this. I keep them level. So, but my cut was a little bit too much. Like I said, cut it three times, it's still too short. So I had to fill that while I was doing this balancing act and get a booger weld tack in there. So anyway, we got her. Uh, now I gotta spot my drain in before I commit and weld this plate in there completely. So I'm gonna spot the, the baffle plate drain through, get it out the bottom here. And you know, we always wish we could reuse that plug, but I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna have to cut it out of there. Oh. But I also got to make sure that I don't get in the way of Tom's doing the cart, so I got to make sure I don't get in the way of his spindle through the cart. So uh, I tried, there was this awesome looking little pipe bung down there and I thought I could just like cut the hole out and just let it drop and then stick my pipe up and locate it and just basically work the opposite of what I normally do and uh, I missed. <laughs> so. I had to cut that pipe out of there and now we're starting over. We're going to do it the other way, plate down. So. Go back that way. Whoop. Right there. Well, I can, I can swing it though. Don't change your mind. <laughs> I'm welded home, son. <laughs> Is it okay? So Frank, what did you decide to have for the little, little lunch break? For lunch? Professional candy. And professional Doritos. candy and Doritos. Yeah, professional. See, we ain't joking. This is the lunch of professionals. Well, the lunch of a guy that doesn't want to stop and take a break. What is this piece you're putting in? This is the drip lip. The lip, the lip on the end of the baffle plate. Okay. So this was my CAD drawing from earlier. It's got all yeah. kinds of notes on it. Now I'm just looking for my measurement. Magic. <laughs> yeah he'll just he'll just wake up one day and have it figured out i'm sure so 